Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to talk about a tool called Descript, which is kind of a Swiss Army knife tool uh, that'll do a little bit of everything for you. Um, it's a tool that you can uh, download for free, and you do have to download it off the website Descript.com, D-E-S-C-R-I-P-T.com. Uh, it'll do many things. Uh, you can record podcasts in it. You can do some minor video edits in it. I still wouldn't recommend it over uh, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro or anything like that, but you know, it does do some basic video editing. Uh, you can do screen recording with it um, and also transcription. It'll transcribe video and audio both. Um, so there's a lot of ground that this tool can cover. Um, it's got some pros and cons. I'm actually doing a little uh, newsletter post on it. Uh, on Journalist Toolbox as well, pointing out some of those pros and cons. You'll see them as we go along here. Um, so what you'll want to do right now is pause the video, click on Get Started for Free. You can set it up for free through your uh, account with uh, uh, Google, your Gmail account, uh, or use another email address. Uh, and just hit pause now and uh, set up the free account, and then we'll get started here once again. All right, welcome back. By now you should have set up an account on Descript, a uh, free account there. And before we get started, I just wanted to remind you, journalisttoolbox.org, that's plural, journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, it's been housed at the Society of Professional Journalists for the past 16 years. Uh, has all things digital journalism, data journalism, uh, reporting tools, uh, podcasting, all kinds of uh, different resources here for journalists. Uh, it's all free, uh, and uh, there are training videos that are built into it, much like the one you're watching right now. Um, so do take advantage of it. Um, we also have training videos links right up here. You're watching one of those videos right now. Uh, and the newsletter you can sign up for for free right here. So everything's free on Journalist Toolbox. Descript is a free tool. Um, and uh, it does have uh, some upgrades to it uh, where you can do a, a paid monthly uh, account as well. And the pricing is right here. Um, as of uh, early 2022, uh, the free account uh, gets you three hours of transcription, gets to do all the audio and video editing. You can do as many screen recorders, uh, recordings as you want. It will do some overdubs. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and you can add studio sound effects. So it does a lot of the uh, things that you need uh, with a basic account. Um, uh, the creator tool gives you a little bit more time on the transcription. Um, uh, also, uh, the pro account uh, lets you do uh, many more things with it. Uh, but really for basic, um, uh, a basic model, I, I think the free version does a, a pretty good job. Um, you know, if it's a newsroom, you know, maybe your newsroom spends 144 bucks a year on it. Uh, it gets a creator account to give you guys a little more flexibility with it. But for my purposes, uh, on a solo basis, uh, the, the free version works uh, quite well. So uh, using this tool, once you've downloaded it, uh, you're going to need to go uh, to your uh, uh, applications folder uh, and find a script uh, and just double click on it and open it. Um, it should give, have walked you through some download prompts when you were uh, setting up the account. Uh, you have to actually download it to your computer. Uh, and here is the interface. Um, and it, has, uh, it gives you this uh, uh, quite, uh, quite often, this little option here uh, with uh, uh, having your data shared with them. Um, uh, you know, I, I would select not now, <laughs> um, uh, just for privacy purposes and, you know, depending on what you're working with too. Um, uh, the interface, uh, is, is pretty, uh, easy to use. If you need to set up a project folder here, you know, if you're going to do a series of, uh, 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 projects in, in one folder, this is a good way to organize it. Or you can just click over here on the new button, uh, or the little pull down men menu next to it. If you need to do a screen recording, you just go in here. Um, select screen. Um, it'll probably ask you uh, to if it wants you to do uh, have access to your camera, your microphone, etc. It will do that the very first time. Uh, once you've set that up uh, and gave it permissions, uh, it will uh, let you roll from there. Um, what's really nice about this is I can move around if I want to include my little uh, uh, icon down here. 
Um, I set it up to work off my Yeti, Yeti Nano mic. Uh, I'm just going to use my uh, FaceTime HD camera at the top of my iMac, and I'm going to do a screen recording. Uh, camera would be as if I was just recording a headshot. Uh, I've included transcription on this. I always have the default setting to include the transcription. Uh, and then you can just hit the screen recording button. And you can paint across the screen, which is really nice. Uh, uh, you, you click spacebar to record full screen or just drag across the section that you want to record. So if you only want to record part of your screen, uh, once it's selected, you can hit start recording. And in the upper right, it gives you a little stop and record button uh, to go and a little time ticker too. You can pause it as well. Uh, and you can see I'm actually doing a recording within a recording right now. So that, that's why I'm uh, you know, not doing this on Descript because I wanted to be able to demo this. Um, so I'm going to talk here for a minute uh, and just give it a chance to uh, gather the uh, text that goes along uh, with the transcription of this little video. Okay, I'll hit the stop button on the right hand side. It's always a little player over on the right hand side. And it'll stop you and it'll start transcribing. A couple of cool features about this. Uh, it, it includes all your ums and ohs. You can see I'm a terrible um, oh person. Uh, and be careful with it. And this is true of the transcription tool too. Um, uh, it'll give me like K instead of OK. Um, sometimes it'll, it'll have some little errors in here. So if you're doing any transcribing with it, boy, do you really want to be careful with this. Uh, it gives you a publish and copy link. Um, uh, you can publish this. Uh, so it'll appear on the uh, live web. It'll, you know, so it kicks it over to the web page now. Uh, it drops my transcript on the uh, right, and then my video will be here on the left. Uh, what's really cool about this tool is I can copy this text, uh, and, and, you know, it's searchable. Uh, I can copy this text and drop it into another Descript project. Um, and what, what's really cool about it is uh, you can copy and paste it into another Descript project. It will not only bring over the text into the project, it'll bring the video with it. Um, so, you know, here's the video. Uh, the one, you know, drawback here is it does, just does give you a link uh, that you can copy and, and you can select the start time you want it. If you wanted to start it partway into the video, you could. You can allow comments on it if you want to. Um, the one drawback to this is, is I can't download this uh, and move it into YouTube or move it, you know, anywhere else. It's kind of uh, dropped into this Descript hosting platform. Um, so again, it kicks it back over to the web. That's another thing about this tool. It's kind of tricky. Um, you're working in this desktop version that I'm kind of uh, highlighting here. Then it kicks over your publish, published work into uh, the Descript interface online, which is where you get your link for your video, etc. Uh, you also can transcribe video uh, in this. Uh, if I just hit the new button, uh, and I can select project, uh, and then I'll type title this one Obama speech transcription. Uh, you can invite others uh, to uh, edit as well, um, and you can set that up. I'll create my little project, and it gives me a little uh, area here. Uh, where I can upload and choose a file uh, and go uh, load some audio into it. So let me find some out on my desktop. You also can drag and drop it in. Um, there it is. This is a speech that President Obama gave back in 2013. For those of you who are teachers, uh, uh, the uh, Obama speeches are always good for teaching audio editing because he takes long pauses. Uh, so if any of you are showing your students how to edit audio, you notice the waveform here has these very long dead, uh, uh, dead spots on it. Uh, he speaks in very short bursts, uh, which is good for teaching them audio editing. They're able to, to edit the clips pretty quickly. Um, so uh, I can add or uh, detect a speaker. It can enter the name here. Uh, since he's the only one speaking, I can just put in Barack Obama. Uh, also, uh, if I have uh, the audio going uh, and actually hit the play on here, and it was a Q&A or I was interviewing a couple of people, uh, as they're speaking, I can put in uh, the different name of each person speaking, and the transcript will come through with their name on it. Uh, so you'll know who's speaking each time, which is kind of a cool feature. 
Okay, and this is about a 13 minute long speech, so it does take a little bit of time for it to analyze. Uh, you could do some basic edits in here, you know, the blade tool will allow you to cut it or select a range, that type of thing. Zoom in on the uh, little waveform here. And now my transcription came through. Uh, as you can see, uh, Barack is also a big ummer and utter. He has a lot of those in here. Um, be very, very careful uh, with their transcription service. I have noticed it'll miss on some words from, from time to time. Um, so, uh, you know, look through it very, very, very closely, uh, especially if you're going to pull maybe a little clip out of here and maybe use uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, if I'm going to use the uh, uh, clip here uh, in text in a story or something like that. Um, so uh, you can see, uh, you know, there, there's a couple of areas here where you'll, you'll probably need to clean it up. Um, and, but, you know, again, it gives you a, you know, workable uh, transcript. Also, you can take and publish this and share it. Um, it's embeddable, which is really cool. Um, once you hit publish, uh, show transcript, uh, you, know, you can allow comments on it if you want to. So I'll hit publish here. And you can actually take this and embed it into a web page, which is kind of nice. Um, so, you know, you can copy the link here. Um, normally you would copy in an embed code, uh, but I just copied the link because I, I use Medium for my uh, posts. Um, and uh, let me call up a, a Medium page and I'll embed one in here and show you what it looks like. Medium.com. I'll write a story. Hit return, be patient, just kind of let it load for a minute. Uh, it'll play, uh, it'll play through this. Um, uh, I also can, uh, it'll scroll uh, as, as you're going as well. I'll hit publish on this so you can actually see what it looks like. And it's a slick little, little way to, to do a, a, a audio player, especially if the, the transcription is a big part of it. A different way of doing the audio. Uh, I used to teach right around the corner. And again, you can fix this. You can always edit the transcript in here. Where we fell in love. This is where we raised our daughters in a house. And that's the script, folks, and some of the things that you can do with this. Uh, like I say, it's kind of a Swiss Army knife type tool. Uh, you can record podcasts in it. Um, you can do some basic video editing in it. Uh, but really for transcription and screen recording, uh, is, it makes for a, a really good tool for that. Just be careful. There's some benefits and drawbacks to this tool. Um, but uh, you just be careful with the transcriptions and not just cut and paste something out of here without going through it and listening to the audio again very closely and making sure it's taken it uh, word for word. That's all I had for now. Thanks.